Now, Taiwan's presidential election is shaping up with Foxconn founder Terry Guo submitting his papers and signatures a day ahead of the registration deadline tomorrow. The Central Election Commission will review the signatures before announcing its decision on November the 14th. Deborah Wong reports. Today is If Terry Guo meets the threshold of close to 290,000 signatures, he'll be able to qualify as an independent candidate. He submitted his papers with running mate actress Tammy Lai earlier, but his bid could be derailed. Mr Guo's team has been hit by allegations of signature buying, which they've denied. 19 people have been arrested, including a chapter member of ruling party DPP. The DPP has so far denied any involvement in the scandal. But politicking is in full swing. Up to Wednesday morning, it wasn't clear if Mr Guo would submit his papers as scheduled. Because the bigger question is whether there will be a coalition. And if so, will Mr Guo be roped in? This comes after a late-night meeting between Kuomintang and Taiwan People's Party contenders. We know that one day, Public opinion polls show that over 65% of people want a change of power. A coalition could rally the votes and potentially unseat the DPP. But it's a political gridlock. The Kuomintang and TPP have had three meetings with no consensus so far on who should take the top job and how they'd go about deciding it in the coalition. Now, they both fundamentally want the same thing, to topple the DPP from power and to restart high-level talks between China and Taiwan. They've only agreed to partner in the legislative election to gain a majority. Candidates registering under political parties must do so between November 20th and 24th. Internally, Mr Guo has to navigate troubled waters. Beijing is now auditing Foxconn's taxes and investigating its land use in China. Chinese media say that Beijing is unhappy with Mr Guo's decision to run as an independent candidate, as he could split the opposition vote and indirectly lead DPP's William Lai to victory. Mr Guo has been quiet on China's investigation so far and has even scaled back some public appearances. Analysts believe that the probe could stir up some anti-Chinese sentiments and work against Mr Guo's campaign bid. As it is, Mr Guo already ranks last in opinion polls and if he were to qualify in the presidential elections, he has to intensify his campaigning. Deborah Wong, CNA, Taipei.